Hi everyone, welcome to this WordPress tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look at the Monarch social media sharing plugin. This is a plugin from Elegant Themes and it makes it possible to add social media sharing on different places on your website. So the first way we can add it like this on the side of your website. If your visitors don't find the ones, they can also click on this one and they can choose the one they want to share. Okay, so then we go down to the post, you can add it above the content. You can add it as a pop-up. You can also add it as a fly-in like this, and we can add it below the content. And if you have images, you can add it in the images. We can also add our following. So we can add our Twitter following and YouTube following and other platforms. Okay, so let's have a look how we can do all of this with this plugin. Okay, so right now I'm in uh, Elegant Themes members area. So here I can find my plugin, Monarch. You can also see that they have a lot of plugins. They also have themes. You can buy a lifetime package and use all of these or just buy the Monarch package. So if you want to buy this Monarch plugin, I will leave a link below in the description. Then go to download, click on plugin package. Then go to the file, right click and choose compress. So now we have a zip file, go to the website, go to dashboard, go down to plugins, click on add new. Choose Upload Plugin, click on Choose File, click on Monarch Zip, click on Choose and Install Now. Go to Activate Plugin, then go down to your plugin, so this one, Monarch Plugin, click on Settings. Okay, so first we want to manage the locations. So if you want to have it in sidebar, inline, pop up, fly in, and media. So let's say I want to have it in the sidebar, and I want to have it in the fly in and in the content. Okay, so then we click on save changes. And now we can set up the settings for the sidebar inline and the fly-in so if you go to the left you see sidebar inline pop-up fly-in on media so choose the one you have chosen here click on sidebar now you can choose the icon style just put the mouse over and you will see how it will look like so i will choose this one then you can choose the icon shape square rounded corners or a circle so i want to have this one then we can choose display settings, sidebar orientation, left or right, intro animation, slide up, slide down, fade in, no animation. So I want to use slide right. If you want to display share counts, minimum count display. So if you have five here and you only have four shares, this will not be shown on your website. Display total shares, display all networks button. This uh, button allows users to select and share from all available social networks. Add icon spacing, hide on mobile devices. Okay, then we can change color settings. So you can choose to use this or uncheck this one where you want to post type settings so you can choose home post page forum topic reply product and other plugins then click on save changes 
Okay, so this is for sidebar, and then you can do the same thing with the other ones. So inline, fly in. On fly in, you can add a title and message if you want. You can set the trigger when the fly in will come on the website. So trigger after time delay, trigger after inactivity, and so on. You can also change the colors and where you want to show this. So on the home, post, page, form, and so on. Then click on save changes. So basically you do the same thing on all of these. So sidebar, inline, pop-up, fly-in, and on media. Okay, so now we can choose networks. Click on add networks. So now you choose the ones you want to have on your website. So I want to have Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest, and also you can take LinkedIn. Okay, then click on Apply. And uh, on Twitter, you can add your username like that. Click on Save Changes to Social Follow. Now we can add our social media account, so click on Add Networks. So I will choose Twitter and YouTube. Click on Apply. So now we want to add our Twitter URL. So we go to Twitter, click on your profile, go up to the browser and copy this URL. Go back to the website and paste it in here. Then add your Twitter name. And uh, here you can add how many followers you have at the moment. So I have 317. I just add it right here. Then we go to YouTube. We want to add the URL. Go to our channel, go to the browser and copy the URL. Go back to the website and paste it in here. Add a name and add how many followers you have. Like that. Okay, so then we go to display settings. So first we can click on open link in new window. If you want to have this in a new window, if you don't, you just uncheck this and this will open in the same window. And then we go to get counts via API. That means that this Monarch plugin will catch and fetch your following numbers from your social media accounts automatically. So if you check this one, we will come to API settings for Twitter and YouTube. So on Twitter they want consumer key, consumer secret, access token, access token secret. So to get this, you just click on this one and click for more information. And you will have a text on how to do this on elegantthemes.com. So after you've done this, you go back to the plugin and you add the information right here. Then you click on authorize. And if everything is okay, you will have this notice. Successfully authorized. Then click on OK. And it will do the same thing on YouTube. Just click on this one and click on For More Information. And you will have information on how to do this as well. Then go back to the website and add your API key for YouTube. Then click on Authorize. And same thing here, you should have this successfully authorized. Then click on OK. Then choose Save Changes. OK, so then we go to Widget. OK, so here you can change the icon style of the following widget. So if you want to have this one, this one, this one, or this one. So I want to have this one. Then you can choose the icon shape. I want to have round. Then we have display settings. 
icon placement, center or left. Choose number of columns. So I want to have four. Display follower counts, yes or no. Minimum count display. So if you have like five followers and you don't want to show that, you can add 100. So until you have 100, the display count will not be shown. Then you have display total followers. So this is for all of your social media accounts, total followers. Display network names, if you want to show what your names are on your social media. Outer text color, choose dark or light. Remove icon spacing, if you don't want to have space between your icons. Hide on mobile devices. This is if you want to hide this on mobile devices. And here you have the color settings. You can change the colors. And click on save changes. Okay, so then we go up to short code. So this is the same thing, but you will use a short code for your widget. So just choose the icon style, icon shape, choose the placement. But with this one, you can add six columns in the row, and all of the same settings. And then we have to generate the short code. Okay, so then we copy this short code. Copy, click on save changes. Then we go to general settings. So this one means that if you use the API settings, that it will catch your following numbers every three hours. If you don't want to use this, you just set as zero. And this one is the reset WordPress loops. Enable the option if the plugins does not detect permalinks properly. Okay. And same thing with this API settings. This is for Facebook. Just click on here and click on more information. And you will have a text on how to do this API settings. Then go back to the website and enter your Facebook app ID and app secret. Then click on authorize. Then you go to save changes. Okay, so then we want to add our widget in the sidebar. So we go to appearance, click on widgets. Okay, so here we can do this in two ways. We can use the widget or we can use the short code. So I will choose both just to show you. So find the Monarch plugin, this one, Monarch follow. Click on that, choose to have it in the sidebar, click on add widget. You can add a title, so we will have follow us, then click on save can drag this to the top and now we can use the short code and we will find this text widget so click on this one and click on add widget so choose the title like that and now we want to paste the short code that we generate before click on save and now we can drag this below the other widget okay then we go to the website okay so now we have two we have the widget and we have the widget with the short code and if you go to the post we also have the social media sharing here to the left we have it in the post We have it below the post and we also have it as a fly in. Okay, everyone, so I hope this helped. Uh, if you want to use this Monarch plugin, I will leave a link below. And please let me know if you have any questions. You can share this one or you can subscribe to my channel, and we see you in the next one. Bye.